So welcome back to the second video of the series of me painting my Street Fighter miniatures. Uh, if you missed the first one, go back. Uh, in that video, uh, I painted uh, Sagat, uh, and um, to be honest, uh, it came out better than I thought. So uh, it's going great, to be honest. Uh, since then, I put him in the cabinet here behind me. He's safely back in his place, and I have taken out the next character. So the next character that I'm about to do is Vega. So there he is, Vega. Um, I don't have a real reason to why I chose Vega next. I mean, he was right next to Sagat in the in the cabinet, so maybe I just kind of felt right. Let's start from the middle and work our way out. Um, but there we are. We've got Vega. We're going to do next. So looking carefully at Vega um, again, it's only going to be a couple of elements that I'm painting on him. Uh, so we'll take a closer look to see what exactly I'll be doing with him. Um, also, uh, I'll do the same thing as I did last time with the, the game behind me here. I'm going to play a uh, couple of colours of Vega because I'm really not sure what to do with him because uh, I've not really played much Vega myself and uh, all the colours, I, I can't remember there ever being a Vega colour which I remember to really stand out. So we're going to go through the same process, we're going to look at some, then we're going to take it down to the table and then we're going to attempt to paint Vega in a in a couple of different colours. So yeah, fascinating to see uh, how different we can make Vega look. After the success of Sagat, I kind of want to go a bit adventurous and get a bit uh, creative maybe with, uh, with Vega. So, uh, let's take a look at uh, Vega in-game. So here we are, Street Fighter once again. Wasn't going to be anything else, was it? And today we're going to be looking at Vega. So over to the character select screen and um, here we go. Let's have a look at what kind of colours Vega comes in. So there's the classic, there's the purple. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's quite iconic actually that Vega. That's, uh, that's the next one, just a, a blue one. I always find that the, the next colour is always quite similar to the base one and never I'm never really bothered with the kind of slight subtle changes, you know, if I'm going to paint them, there you go. I want it to be more different, something like that. Orange, and that one, that one's quite iconic. That uh, Definitely that is one I remember. Um, yeah, they. Uh, that one looks quite smart as well. Wow, that's different. Again, you know, that that even changes the, the yellow on the side. The yellow's gone to like a bronzy colour. Because it's yellow on most of them. Um... That's nice, again, really bright blue, but probably too similar to the purple. That one's not as bold, really. That one's quite cool, almost all yellow with an orange. And we're back to the first one. So uh, the uh, that one, that the orange and yellow one, I do quite like. I think that looks really different, um, two types of yellow. So that's probably one that I will, uh, yeah, pretty much set on that one. I'm not sure about the others, though. They were quite a few choices. I like coming out this like fresh, you know, but I'm not really 100% committed on, you know, what I'm going to do. You know, I've got some strong opinions on some characters that I've, I've pretty much decided on, on a certain few. Uh, like Guy, like I never know, I, then that video is going to be two seconds long. But yeah, I, I do like that of Vega, that I'm settled on that with Vega. I think green, uh, green and yellow, kind of like a cheese and onion colour. Yeah, I do like that. I wouldn't complain having that. Um, in terms of the other colours, though, that I saw, I, was, I know I'm skipping ahead a little bit, but I'm not so sure. Um, we'll see. But yeah, we've got we've got that one. That one's nailed down for certain. Here we are, down and uh, not ready to paint, to be honest. I haven't got my paints out uh, today, um, but I will do in a minute. So uh, I chose Vega. Vega's the next one. Um, so we're going to, again, let's, let's grab the model first. That's always a good start. So here we are, within reach today. So Vega, very interesting uh, model in terms of, you know, kind of very short, but, you know, Orc, you know, it was one that they obviously struggled to package because it's so long, you know, and these claws, yes. So, looking at the colours, um, I'll be honest, I've not, 
to this moment, right now, uh, I've not decided. I've, I've sat down and I've kind of left that decision. I've, I've looked at the colours, but not really um, honed in on one. I mean, yeah, uh, I suppose that that what I call the cheese and onion uh, version is uh, a colour that I'm, I'm tempted to do. You know, the, the orange and yellow. Sorry if you're from different parts of the world, your cheese and onion crisps might be a different, but I always just sort of, you know, orange and, sorry, green and yellow to me always kind of represented cheese and onion. I'm not sure what popular brand of crisps that use those colours, but they've obviously infiltrated my mind and I think cheese and onion, I think green and yellow. So, you know what? I'm just going to see what I feel like, have a look at my paint, see what colours I've got and then um, start painting and see what kind of colour I prefer. I'll get them up on the screen once I'm set up and ready to go. So the next time you'll see me, I would have decided and I'll have some paint on my brush, I think. Well, I'm um, about ready to go with uh, with Vega and uh, the uh, the green and yellow, cheese and onion, I'm definitely going to be doing. Um, I found some greens. Again, I've got a pretty healthy selection of all the different greens. I mean, uh, it got all, the, all the way up to moot green, which is really nice and bright, which I may end up using as the top layer. Um, I'm still, however, because I want to cover up the purple with the green, I'm, I'm going to start with the the wild flesh, which is the dark green that we were using on the Sagat shorts uh, last time. So I'm going to start with my Vega basically with the with getting that green on, probably a da darker set of green to start with. So let's get everything nice and just to see where we where we start. Um, the green colour I've noticed on on Vega um, goes up through the snake. So whatever colour you, well, on most of the designs, whatever colour <clears throat> you use on the purple part of the trousers, you will be putting that colour on the uh, snake as well, which is going to be challenging and which isn't that brilliantly painted. Uh, on the model because um, it's a very very detailed section so um, it might we might end up making the snake look a bit better actually by painting it so that's the goal there so let's get some paint on this model So uh, all I've done so far is put the base green on. Um, there you go. It's a, it's a much darker green than what I'm going for, but uh, it, it's a good it's a good starter. I definitely will be liking this up with some of the other options I've got. Uh, obviously, the fiddly bit was the snake, and uh, kind of annoying. And I'm not sure the camera. I'd really have to zoom in with the camera to see if I can point this out to you guys let's have a look if I can again unless it focuses perfectly there is a slight purple haze on the skin where that painting operation has kind of colored the skin a little purple now if I color it green it's going to stand out even worse but sadly there is that kind of purpley residue on the skin so unless I start painting the skin but then if I paint the skin I need to paint all the skin because it'll all match and the wash and the skin looks the perfect kind of shade at the moment so I don't really want to change it but I, I would like to get rid of that purple shade it's not too distracting but it is definitely something that um, it's you know it's just I know it's there you know so it's just that little bit of a um, purple haze 
which I kind of want to get rid of. So there we are, that's the first layer of green. Again, it's looking totally transformed. As soon as that colour hits it, as soon as you get a different colour in there, it changes. I haven't even done the sash yet. Uh, I believe that is going to be yellow, so that's going to be yellow to match the trousers. Uh, and then I'm going to add some more green as well. Okay, um, so there we go. I still can't decide, and I'm I'm mid painting, okay, and I'm I've done the green, I've done the green to the point where I'm kind of waiting for it to dry, and I kind of need to start the next one. What colour do I do? I I'm I'm genuinely torn. Um, it's it's between it's between. The red, where I actually change the yellow, I actually change the yellow to a slight orange and then red, so it's kind of like an orange red affair. Or, and I shouldn't have done this, I actually played a little bit of um, Turbo, Street Fighter 2 Turbo earlier, um, and playing that, I realised that the alt colour in Turbo was the black, or not black, black, but kind of like a charcoal black and you know, yellow and then the green sash. And I do like it. I like that black one. But black and yellow again. I don't want to have every model have a really cool black and yellow. I think black and yellow just looks good. And obviously that's what my Sagat was in. I don't want to make every model black and yellow. So, orange and red, which is a weird clash, but kind of makes Vega look really different. Orange and red or black and yellow. Like a bee. I'm genuinely torn, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm I'm going to have to decide. I can't decide. <laughs> Sorry, that was a terrible pause. I can't decide, I'm, I'm genuinely torn. I'm going to regret, I'm going to have to buy another Vega and do some of the other colours. In fact, the more I look at it, okay, there's a pink and yellow and it looks like a, what we have uh, in the UK, Battenberg cake, or, hold on, there's a sweet, isn't there, pink and yellow? Refresher bar, maybe, and I don't know. It looks like a Battenberg cake and I'm kind of tempted by that as well. Ugh, pink and yellow, oh dear. I think the black and yellow is kind of mooted, kind of a moody, vega, kind of one that people might choose. Because a lot of the other characters will have a red version. Any character who's in a colour which is not red will probably end up having a red version. And maybe it's kind of nice to have Vega not have a red. Ah, uh, I've yeah, I've come in. Uh, for that reason. For that reason, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the 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 the, the black paint. Yeah, I'm go for it. It's, I'm gonna do the the dark one, black yellow with a with a green sash. That's so what I'm doing. That final. That's the decision made. So we're at that stage again where, um, you know, both both base coats have gone down of the of the main colour swap, if you like, you know, so the green and the black uh, of these two, and you know what I'm what I'm happy with is that you know it kind of has that immediate effect of hey, there you go, Vegas in different colour, you know, and if. If you can take anything away from watching me do these videos, right, is that that you know, as long as you're patient with your brush and you you're not trying to rush them, I think anyone, anyone with some of these paints and a brush can get this effect. Okay, so really, um, you know, go for it, absolutely go for it. If you've got a, a character of yours, you know, if you've got a set of this and you want to have a different color, be confident. You know, absolutely go for it. Just chuck some paint on. You know, you you can really, um, you can really achieve this. You know, and um, like I said, even though I'm making videos, I'm not a good painter by any stretch of the imagination. So you can definitely do these. You know, even just with one color, and you know, half an hour's work. So 
uh, the green is almost dry so uh, I'm going to crack on there now. Um, bit of luck there, um, I've started painting the yellow on the uh, on the sash and the yellow is actually much darker than the bright yellow on the side of the trousers and then looking at the actual picture of Vega with that it kinds to be the same in there so luck really that the yellow I have which is um, uh, something sunset from the Warhammer paints is much darker than that really bright yellow that they probably stock as well so it matches quite well the fact that one looks more gold and then the other one is yellow I could also brighten it up a little bit if I'm not happy with it at the end but it's kind of good that that yellow has a contrast from the yellow on the trousers So um, that's the sash done on the second model there, the black one. Again, uh, the green is much darker than I want it to be, but that's just because I need a strong base there to cover up all that red. That is, you know, it does shine through in little places, so uh might even try and cover up some of the patches that are drying there. So um, that's the green and then the uh, the uh, accidental perfect colour, really, the... the, the slightly darker yellow which looks gold almost um, there which is perfect uh, for the other sash so those are the sashes done again I've got to dry a bit now before I uh, add the next colour next colour being probably uh, a lighter green uh, warp stone glow for, uh, will be the colour that I'll be applying on top of this then not totally over so not covering it in warp stone glow but almost so really going over all of it, except for the deepest recesses in the muscles and the folds and the clothes, that's probably the only area where I won't be painting, but otherwise more or less covering it in Warpstone Glow. And I might even be highlighting with some moot green as well. So quite a few procedures just to get that green nice and bright. So um, just added a few more things really uh, onto the miniatures there. The lightening of the green works really well going around with the warp stone, um, warp stone glow just to add uh, kind of like a 75% um, layer if you like over it so only the, the dark recesses are, I'll try and show you exactly what I mean um, so raising it up because as it dries you don't really you don't really see the difference but um, compared to just a dark one it it really does make a difference and then a similar thing then um, which is much harder to do and it sometimes looks a bit stark but I add grey to the black because the black is clearly yes it's just black but um, they are definitely grey trousers in the picture so I'll kind of show you like a side by side really so I've obviously put quite a bit of grey on different places and just seeing how it affects it's it's kind of like a risk-free strategy painting the gray on the black because if you don't like it no problem black straight over the top and it was never there so if you find there's a little bit of weird gray where it looks like well he's just got paint on his trousers there rather than a kind of shade coming through you can just put a bit of black on there so um, it's not as impressive maybe as the green but it definitely from far away just makes the model lighter rather than just having really dark trousers where you don't you lose the detail basically so just having gray on there um close up looks a bit unusual but from far away um it it does help so yeah and i've uh, also just highlighted the the green sash on the on the black model as well so all in all, we're more or less there. I'm not even sure if I need to do anything else. I could go one, la um, one layer again on the green and put some really, really bright green um, on the uh, the cheese and onion one. Um, oh, and another thing I might do is I think that yellow that I use for the sash on the green uh, character, um, uh, the model, sorry, is a little bit dull. I do want to highlight it and I don't have a really poppy yellow at the moment. I know there's a there's a yellow called Flash Flash Gits and that's probably the yellow I need to basically highlight the sash. 
that's definitely going to happen, but it probably won't happen now. I don't have that paint on me, so uh, that's another trip to the to the Warhammer store. So, yeah, there we go. Um, almost completed with Vega, but for this video, I think, um, probably all done. Thanks very much for watching the second video of me painting my Street Fighter miniatures. Uh, click on the other videos around. I started with Sagat, this was the second one, and hopefully there's plenty more for you to choose from already. Um, so pick your favourite character and see what kind of colours I decide to go with that one. And thanks very much for all the comments on the last video as well. It's great to see people interacting and stuff. And uh, yeah, wish me luck, and I hope I can just carry on painting for you guys. Okay, thanks very much, and I'll see you on the next video.